Welcome to Catholic News World. Welcome to Catholic News World. Please subscribe to our channel. My name is Steph. Here are this week's breaking news headlines. A miracle escape of 146 young minor seminarians saved them from attack which left two dormitories burnt down. St. Kizito Minor Seminary in Bugi, Burkina Faso, Africa was attacked by armed men. On the night of Thursday, February 10 to February 11, 2022 attackers targeted the training center for future priests of the Diocese of Fadan Gurma. The residents of this seminary had previously received rescue training in the event of an attack. Therefore they were dispersed in the outdoors all night before returning all in the morning safe and sound. Two dormitories and a classroom were burned down and the vehicle of a priest trainer was stolen. A Catholic priest apologizes and resigns after discovery of thousands of presumed invalid baptisms. Father Arango used the word we baptize, instead of I baptize, according to the proper formula. Father Arango has been a priest for 27 years in Brazil and the USA. In 2020 the Vatican CDF issued a statement indicating that using we baptize, renders a baptism invalid. Father Arango apologized saying, I deeply regret my error and how this has affected numerous people in your parish and elsewhere. Bishop Robert McElroy, of the Catholic Diocese of San Diego, issued a statement about the baptisms. The Diocese of San Diego has received inquiries about the pastoral situation of men and women who were baptized by Father Andres Arango during the brief period in which he served in the Diocese of San Diego a generation ago. Since Father Arango utilized an invalid formula in baptisms in the Diocese of Phoenix in recent years, that diocese has taken steps to identify and rebaptize men and women. The bishop explained, the theology of the church teaches that God binds himself to the efficacy of validly celebrated sacraments. But that same theology states that God is not bound by the limitations of the sacraments. The bounty of God's grace powerfully suggests that any men and women who were possibly baptized so long ago have received from the Lord the graces of baptism and all that goes with them in their lives. And thus, they should be at ease. New statistics reveal growth in Catholics worldwide to 1.36 billion people which is an increase of 1.2%. The Central Statistical Office of the Church released the data contained in the Annuario Pontificio and in the Annuarium Statisticum Ecclesi which revealed that in 2020 baptized Catholics recorded an increase of 1.2 with a significant increase in Asia and Africa. The number of bishops in the world is slightly decreasing, with a decline also for the number of priests. On the other hand, permanent deacons are on the rise. These data were compared to data of the world population, which in the same period went from 7,578 to 7,667 billion. Increases in the number of Catholics were especially noted in Asia and Africa. The Eucharist was stolen and desecrated from the tabernacle of the historic Fulda Cathedral in Germany. On a high feast day for the diocese, a young man stole a bowl of consecrated hosts from the tabernacle and scattered the Eucharist in front of the cathedral. On Friday, February 4, 2022, the Eucharist was stolen and desecrated in the area of the Fulda Cathedral, Germany. A special service of public penance for the act of desecration was held. The cathedral chapter prayed in front of the tabernacle with prayer, incense, and holy water, to the Lord for forgiveness. The Auxiliary Bishop Karl Heinz Day said, to our horror, he scattered the communion wafers downtown. They could be picked up and taken back to the cathedral. The police caught the man and are investigating. Watch your program every Friday at 7.30 p.m. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Catholic News World Channel. God bless. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.